Hi, today I want to talk about internships, specifically how you can land your first software engineering internship. Now recently I've just ended my first software engineering internship with a startup called Pitchspot and I had a great time learning there. But when I look back at how I got this first software engineering internship, I realised that it wasn't easy. If you are in the tech industry, you will know that landing an internship, especially your first internship, is not as easy as it seemed. For an industry that relies a lot on portfolio and work experience, if you have none, it's difficult for you to enter this industry. For me, it took me at least a year of planning and portfolio building before I actually got to my first software engineering internship. And in this video, I just wanted to go through the process and the preparation that I had, and hopefully it will help you get your first internship as well. So for this video, I've created timestamps, and if it helps you follow along, you can skip ahead to the different portions, and yeah, let's go. So let's talk a little bit about the prerequisites before I even look for my first software engineering internship. Prior to my internship experience, what I had in hand was a small amount of coding experience from school as well as a personal project. So this personal project was actually a mobile application that I've built entirely from scratch with a friend of mine for a school initiative. So this school initiative is called Orbital and if I'm not wrong, it's organized by the NUS School of Computing. So what it does is that it encourages students to build products entirely from scratch to solve real world problems. Now you'll be surprised how far your personal projects will bring you, especially when you build it entirely from scratch. Not just because in the end you'll build the product anyway, but because when you build something entirely from scratch, you fully understand what you're building. And the problems that you face along the way are most likely the problems that you'll face in your software engineering role. And the way you solve them can be extremely helpful for your future job. So it doesn't matter whether you have adequate knowledge for your personal project. What matters the most is that you find a starting point and just get started immediately. The rest can be researched along the way. When I started my project, I had zero knowledge about mobile application and we just research everything along the way. The product in the end may not be the most ideal but at least through this method you know what's workable and what's not. For me, my personal project was a mobile application but you can literally build anything whether it's for web or for mobile or even for iPad as long as you can show that you have some experience in building a product it can be a good way for you to display your experience and your qualities and hopefully something for you to talk about as well when you land your interview. Next is to hunt for the interview for your first software engineering job. Now, with one or two personal projects on your portfolio, expect that very few companies will reply you unless the project that they are working on is very similar to the project that you have already done. This is because you would most likely have already possessed the skills that they would need and it will take less time to onboard you. With that said, be sure to make yourself more employable with at least a larger window for internship. What I mean by that is that you should make yourself available for at least three to six months to take up this internship fully. Personally, I think, especially for tech positions, it would be quite impractical to do an internship for less than three months. At least from the company's perspective, it wouldn't make sense because for the first month or so, they would have to onboard you. You will have to pick up their coding language if you don't already know, understand their code base and their workflow, and since you're probably new to their system, it will take you some time to try to understand it and try to pick it up. So yeah, make yourself more employable by giving yourself a larger window for your internship. And even doing all that, expect there to be rejections and very few replies. For myself personally, I sent out 4-5 to five emails every day for 3 weeks straight. But even so, I had less than 5 replies. So yeah, you have to be open and source as many companies as you can and eventually you'll find a company that is suitable and you'll get an interview. Lastly, you'll be acing that interview. Now, if you're going for a technical role, expect there to be technical questions or even technical rounds of interview. I think this portion, you really have to let your technical abilities take over. But one advice I would definitely give is you should verbalize your thought process as much as possible. Even when you're stuck or unsure of the solution, make sure that you're voicing out your thought process, how you're processing the problem, its possible solution that you're thinking of, its limitations, and you can work from there with the interviewer as well. There's also luck in play here, so if you are rejected, it's okay. Okay, just focus on your next interview and I'm sure you'll be able to land your first internship soon enough. With that said, I wish you the best of luck in finding your next internship. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and do subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video.